Hello, and welcome to the green room. Um, it's been a while since I announced this little passion project of mine, but I am finally sitting down and doing the damn thing, and I will not get up until this first epi is finito. Um, I haven't made a video of myself since I was in middle school, early high school, um, during the high, like the Facebook video days. I sincerely apologize to whoever had to witness, let alone receive those, um, but here I am again. So, uh, by the way, I'm really just wing winging this, so please excuse my future self for anything that I do or say. If I stutter, that's just because I stutter and I'm nervous. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, before I dive in um, to my thoughts of the day, I guess I'll just quickly explain the inspiration behind this whole thing. Um, before I moved into my own place, I had always dreamed of cultivating my own home and specifically turning my living room into like a green room or sorry, a greenhouse. So that's where the green room idea kind of started. It was never, ever going to be this kind of podcast, blogcast, whatever the fuck this is. Um, it's more so just, it was, it was an imaginary place in my mind <laughs> until now. Um, so I I just moved into my own place a couple months ago and I finally had the opportunity to cultivate my little green room. It is still in the works, obviously. The green is the theme. So um, while this space will start off as a little vlog cast, whatever, um, of unedited conversations between myself, my friends, maybe some family, Currently, it's just me talking to me, but I hope to someday cultivate like an actual space, sort of like a speakeasy, not exactly like a bar because I'm that's not the vibe that I'm going for, but just like for food, plant, um, art, animal, karaoke, nature, etc. Enthusiasts, um, where we could all just meet up, hang out, eat, smoke, chill, um, with plants and comfy couches and pillows and cushions and that sort of thing you know some a place where like you can bring your animal and um there's movies I like see it as a space where there's like open mic nights and community meetings and like a place that just encourages meaningful connections and conversations and you know like smoking uh with intention instead of just you know, getting high. Um, but for now, it's just my living room. But at least it's not an imaginary place in my mind anymore. <laughs> um, anyways, I don't necessarily think that I am interesting. Um, in fact, I know that I am not. And I don't know any, I have no clue what I'm doing. But um, I really just wanted to kind of make a space where I could connect with people through like a different medium other than just my writing. Um, something that's a little more conversational, even though I'm literally talking to myself right now. Um, and I also, I hate TikTok. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I just fucking can't stand it. So I won't, and I won't download it. So that was not an option. I know people like doing their little things there, but it's not my thing. So back to the purpose. Um, my intention is to make this a safe space for meaningful and sometimes difficult or triggering conversations um, intended to connect us to a deeper humanity. I feel like just, you know, nowadays we're a little disconnected to one another. And so I want to bridge the gap a little bit, um, however I can, even though I'm just me, uh, <laughs> whatever. So over the past few years, I've found that a recurring theme in my life has been healing. Um, I read something the other day that defined healing as making whole, and I, I've never heard that definition of healing before. And it was saying how through within yourself, not without of yourself, that's what healing truly means is to be whole. Um, so that's what my intention is with the space to promote healing and understanding and compassion and love. Um, I've always been passionate about 
mental health and self-care and expanding my spirituality through um, the practice of self-love and kind of rewiring my, my mind and my brain to look at any hardships or, you know, not so great things that's, that have happened through a lens of gratitude. Um, you know, coming to terms with certain traumas that I've experienced and doing the work um, in accepting myself and my circumstances and sort of heal myself from the inside out. So I um, feel like that was what I wanted to just touch on today because, like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just wanted to, you know, talk and stuff. Um, but I feel like there's a common misconception um, about healing that I did want to talk about. And it's the idea that healing is linear, um, that once a certain amount of time or threshold has passed, you shouldn't give a fuck about X, Y, or Z anymore. You should be over it. Um, and this is something that I've been thinking about a lot in the recent months, especially when I was unemployed. Um, and to a certain extent, I do believe that we shouldn't continuously ruminate in what we cannot control. But nothing is ever truly linear, especially growth, especially healing. And old wounds can resurface from new happenings. And it just comes with, you know, pain and loss and grief, um, etc. So I don't know, I just feel like I always hear people be like, Oh, like, go to therapy and get over it. Um, and I just don't, I think that's such an ignorant approach. Um, as much as I understand the sentiment behind what they actually mean when someone says that, it just doesn't ever sit well with me or I'm sure anyone that the, who's told that. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, like, I've tried therapy. I've tried a lot of fucking shit. And <laughs> where I'm at right now, and I'm sure I hope other people can relate, is I am processing certain things like years and years and years of trauma. Um, some I am still even trying to pinpoint that are traumas. So um, at this stage, like a therapist is not what I need or want. I would have one if I wanted one, but I feel like right now, like in this stage of healing and um, I just need myself and I have myself and I feel good, but there are certain behaviors and thinking patterns and like emotional wounds like old toxic ways of thinking and feeling that I had habitually like conditioned my brain to operate on so like I feel like when I talk about certain things or people or times it's because I'm processing it it doesn't mean that I want to be back there at that time or with those people it's just I'm trying to find ways to come to terms with it in my waking life and it can take my whole life you know what I'm saying like I know that being able to t like not only talk about but confront the things that trigger me is important and the fact that I am talking about it should tell one that I am healing or you know I'm trying to find a way over it come to terms with it on my own terms at my own pace um not on someone's imaginary scale of healing so yeah um sorry for my rant but I just thought that was you know a good and important topic to discuss. Um, I just, I want to be intentional and careful in how I say this and say things in general, but like healing doesn't mean to be cured. Um, like going back to what I said before, I feel like it means to find a wholeness within the parts of ourselves that we think are incomplete based off of something external. Um, so yeah. I, I want to leave you guys off with a quote um, that goes, sometimes it takes your heart longer to accept the things that your mind already knows. And I thought that was, you know, kind of worked in to the healing topic. And I feel like there's just, there's a lot of ways to heal and none of them are linear. And we're never going to be the same as we were before whatever happened. So why expect yourself to forget it and act like it never did. Um, we're human. We have feelings. We are always going to, things can always pop back up whether we want it to or not. So 
anyways, I think that is enough of me today. <laughs> Thanks for listening and watching. Um, I hope to have more of these come out, like, if not on a bi-weekly basis, like on a monthly basis, really just like, I kind of, I announced this whole thing in January and like, I got a job two days later. So like, I've been not as on top of it as I'd like to be, but stay tuned. Um, we're about to get funky in the green room and my kitty says hello and good night. Peace.